So today we're going to refinish this old wood frame. I don't have a big enough table surface to work this on, so we are doing this on the floor. And I'm using an old sheet that has ripped as the drop cloth as it's no longer worth repairing. So the reason I'm refinishing this frame is I don't like its current look and it wouldn't suit the place that I want to put it. This was not a very expensive frame, but it has some good quality to it. It does seem to be made out of wood and you can tell that by the joins that they've used. And whether it's a composite or solid wood, it's definitely worth refinishing. Any frame that you can refinish time and time again is worth refinishing rather than buying a new product if you're at all mindful of reducing your waste. So the first step to refinishing a frame is you do want to remove all the matting, the glass, the backing from the frame. And then because it does have a finish to it, you want to remove that finish by doing some light sanding. That's what we're gonna do now. And you wanna make sure to get into all of these little crevices and get on the sides, as well as the internal edges that sit closest to the glass of the frame. If you don't sand the piece in entirety, then you might find that the paint doesn't stick in certain places and that will end up being very noticeable if you have this perfectly painted frame at the front, but then all of a sudden the edges are peeling or just not quite the same color as the rest. Once you're done sanding, make sure to wipe down the frame, getting rid of all of that sanding dust. Again, this will help the paint adhere properly to the frame. So the paint I'm using today is an acrylic paint. Uh, it's not a very expensive paint. It came uh, free with a paint night I did with my working union and it's just something I had lying around. I know I wanted to use black, so it made sense to use this. What I've done is cut a little bit of one of my rag socks, and I'm using that to do a wash style with the paint. What this means, it's a little bit of a rubbing onto the frame rather than a solid paint application that you would get with a brush. Um, this would create the technique that is known as whitewashing. Um, usually you do use watered down paint. You can water down your paint certainly for this. This paint that I'm using is very thin, doesn't need watering down. And when you rub paint on rather than using a paintbrush application, it still gives that wash effect even if the paint is quite thick. So you can sort of play around with that maybe on the back of the frame where it won't be seen to see what exactly you need to do to create the look you want. This look that we're getting using this technique is giving sort of a smoked look as if this frame has been in a fire or has had charcoal rubbed all over it. It just gives a lot of texture to it. It creates a slightly darker frame, a little bit more modern color rather than this sort of 90s brown. And it just gives a lot of more life to this frame. Before doing any further applications, make sure to inspect your piece, maybe even give it another wipe down before applying more paint or polyurethane just to ensure you're not encapsulating any dust or little particles that will show up in the final piece. So with the first layer of paint done, you could just stop here. I wanted a second layer, it wasn't yet the finish that I wanted, but with this paint there wasn't any instructions for drying time. I know I've done a really thin layer because this rubbing technique is very thin application. Uh, I did let it dry for several hours before doing a second coat just to ensure it is thoroughly dry. Um, with applying a finish over top of it, which we will do with polyurethane, it's really important that the paint underneath is completely, completely dry so that you don't get any yellowing or moisture stuck under the polyurethane. Now remember when applying the second coat, the first coat is quite delicate so you have to be very delicate with your application. This isn't a time to do any scraping or use a harsh material to apply the paint as it will take off the first layer of finish that you've done. So after applying the two coats of paint, again you want to dust off the surface before beginning the polyurethane. 
I was much more generous with the drying time now. Again, just making sure that your paint is completely dry before applying that first coat of polyurethane. So to complete this portion of the project, I am wearing a respirator. The reason for this is polyurethane contains toxins. They're known as isocyanates. I might be saying that incorrectly. But the bottom line, these are very bad for our health. Um, they can lead to asthma and other breathing problems. I've also read that fumes like this can lead to cancer as well. So it's better just to be safe, especially if you're pregnant and doing this craft as I am now. After letting the first coat of polyurethane dry, I'm coming and in inspecting the piece and you can see it has left a good gloss finish to the piece. However, they do recommend two to three coats for a piece. So we're gonna put on another coat just to make sure it lasts over time and is resistant to scrapes and bumps. And we're gonna give the piece again another wipe down, removing any dust, and then one final coat of polyurethane. Okay, so here it is, the finished frame. Let's have a closer look. So you can see I used a gloss finish, so it does have this glossy look to it. You can see it also has a smoky feel to it because we did a black wash over a brown frame. It really catches the light, which gives it that sort of high-end feel that's gonna really match the kitchen. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of before and after. So top left is the before, bottom right is the after. So I feel like with this side-by-side, -side, you can really get that feel of that late 90s sense in that first frame. And then in the next one, to me, it really shouts modern, it shouts high-end. So if you're looking to update your old frames and like this style, give this tutorial a try. Okay, so stay tuned for next week when I'm gonna be showing you what I'm putting inside of this frame to really finish off the project. And then I'll also show you what it looks like hanging in its final destination. Thanks for watching, bye. So if you're looking to update your own <laughs> frames, <laughs>